those people out there welcome to my channel if today is the first time you visiting this channel can you please subscribe to my youtube channel so i can learn from you and you can also learn from me please subscribe give me a thumbs up and also comment if you like this video okay so my name let me introduce myself my name um for my channel is queen of me the reason why i call myself queen of men is because i rule men in my kingdom it is full of men so i rule men that's why i call my name queen of men okay i set up this youtube channel so i can show people how to stay their weight and also how to maintain their natural hair under me i am 4c natural my hair is natural but this morning you know nothing fancy i decided to just straighten my hair from small to medium heat just a little bit because i'm not really a fan of that silky type of straight look so i decided to just you know um straighten my hair with um my ghd you know i am i think this one uh, uh it was the um limited edition one that came in can you see it yeah i just straightened this one uh, my hair with this one and it was very not so i decided to straighten my hair today with that so nothing it's very medium heat you know because i don't like that you know long straight you know silky type of straight hair um <clears throat> yeah so yes today i just wanted people to know how my hair is going to be underneath the underneath the the weights that I'm going to you know show people um how to slay. So this is my hair, straighten a little bit. It's my natural hair, straighten a little bit. You know African hair, you know the you know um the shrinkage is real. Okay, so if I put water in my hair, it will shrink and become very small. But this is my hair. This is my natural hair, and I decided to straighten it up today. Okay, so um today, if you want to know um, um um you know how my hair journey is, please um stay here and enjoy. You know, I come from Ghana, I'm a Ghanaian. I come from Ghana and I migrated to Australia about 15 years ago. And when you are in Ghana, you listen to people who from overseas. They tell you the first thing you lose is your hair when you come to overseas. And people blame it on the weather and also um, the water and which in you know there's some truth in it because in Ghana we have only two seasons the, wet, um, the rainy season and the dry season and then you travel to overseas and you come and meet a lot of seasons winter summer autumn and spring which our hair is not really used to and hence you know sort of break your hair and also when it comes to the water uh, 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 I mean when it comes to the water, I think to me probably it's because of the water and the chemical content of the water in Ghana probably would be different from what is in the city. So you turn up to lose it. When I was coming to Ghana, I didn't want to explain to you experience in you. So what I did was I owned a shop, I owned a hair product and cosmetic shop and was a boutique as well. I bought my mouth in right now. So I decided to bring the very quality hair product. That is also what I was thinking, you know, the quality one, so it will not be my hair. I came here. The first time I went to a salon, I was going to just do, um, just for them to set my hair and put some rulers in, which is 15 years ago. And the lady said she's going to charge me 120 dollars. Straight away, you just exchange it into the Ghana, you know, Ghana money so that day after paying 120 dollars i decided not to do that again i would do my own hair so i started doing my own hair um back then i was using cream of nature and i came here that was when um you know olive oil was trending you know it manages your hair it doesn't break your hair and all that so i changed into olive oil and that's also when i started calling my hair stubborn because regardless of how many times I relax my hair in about two weeks, it will not relax. My hair will still stand straight. It will be very kinky and all curly. So I started calling my hair a stubborn hair. So one day I decided to relax my hair with two relaxes. I went to that time to Annali, bought two extra strength relaxes. 
I shouldn't have done that. Yes, I know what you mean. I shouldn't have done that. But I went to buy two relaxers. Came home relaxing my head. And I felt my head so light. I felt like there's some load has taken off my head. I look into the bath. I was washing my hair in the bath. You were washing the product from it. And I saw all my hair in the bath. Yes. You know Don King. If you don't know Don King, Google Don King. And then just look at him. I look like a twin sister of Don King. I lost all my hair from here to the front. So all I was having was the back. My hair was bold from here up to here. It was bold because I decided to relax my hair with two extra strength relaxer and I lost all my hair. Okay. And I went to this lady. She is the I think the lady pastor of Dominion International Church. She took me in and she decided to manage my hair for me, my bold hair for me. So she cut the back and then we started one after the other. Thank you very much, Auntie Miriam. My hair grew up like this and I started manipulating my hair again, putting in extensions, um, uh, braids, and whatnot. And one day I was brushing my hair and it first started falling Okay. So about one and a half years ago, I would say 18 months ago, I would say I became sick of you know relaxing your hair, shedding and all that's why I decided to cut my hair. And this is my natural hair right now. I just as I said before, I just written it out. This is my natural hair. Right. We will talk more about how you have to manage your hair. I think we manipulate our hair too much. Sometimes you have to start as little and as easy as your own kitchen. The oils in your kitchen. I have coconut oil in my kitchen. Everybody will have olive oil in their kitchen. These are natural products you have to put on your head. The fact that we can afford it, we can afford, you know, the ho ho bears and the jojo bears and whatnot. It doesn't mean we have to go and buy it and put it on our head. It may not work for you. It will work for some people. It may not work for you. So start as little as or as easy as in your own kitchen. The oil that you have. Start it. If it works for you, stick to that. Don't do what I did. You know, I was trying to manipulate my hair. I want my hair to look different all the time. Like what we do in Africa. Because... You get out of your house and there's about three saloons. Even more than that. They charge very cheap and because of that, we go to the saloon all the time, over and over again to change our hairstyles and all that. No, you don't have to do that. You have to start as little and as easy as your kitchen. You have coconut oil, you have olive oil. You start with that. Okay? I will be showing you the product that I use on my hair, but not today. But just letting you know, today I just came here to just let you know how my hair is like before I slay the wigs and before I start showing you what I've been doing. Okay? So this is just my natural hair. I cut my hair. I will show you the photos. There's a lot of photos on Facebook when I cut my hair about 18 months ago. My hair was like that. I cut it very, very short. And this is 18 months ago. This is how my hair is like because I leave it alone because I don't manipulate it that much. I just leave it alone. Let it be. 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 Leave your hair alone. Find a routine for your hair. Whatever works for you, use that. Don't be buying products because you know you hear that this thing is coming and this this thing will do your hair. This one will help with your hair and this and that. And because you can afford it, you go and buy it. No, it is not necessary. It's going to ruin your hair. Okay. So I'll be showing you some natural product that you can use on your hair that will not break the bank. You save some money. You grow your hair. You don't have to go through all this stress as somebody will say blow her half you know spending all your time you know you know in your hair on your hair and all that you don't have to do that very very simple okay you save time you save money you save energy just leave your hair alone just leave your hair just leave it alone that is it as simple as that leave your hair alone 
so today I'm not here to talk much. I'm just here to you know, introduce myself to you. Um, you know, my first time recording uh, uh, for my channel. So this is my hair. This is how my hair is like. So next time you see me with the wigs and everything, so you know exactly who is underneath me. <laughs> who is underneath that wig? So yeah, this, uh, today I decided to straighten my hair. Um, you know, with my hot iron in. I will also show you how I straighten my hair, you know, how I curl my hair. Sometimes I do that, but I don't use heat on my hair, you know. I don't do that a lot. It's just once in a while you know, I decide to do that. But I leave my hair room to be kinky as it is. You were born like that. This is who you are. Just accept it the way you are and try and style it, make it look Dope. Anyway, my name is Queen of Men. And I explain why my I'm talking about So yes, a woo man. So today, thank you very much for being here. I will see you again in the next video. If you hurt, it's for your trouble.